Welcome to this how-to video for adding your photos into the portal by Facebook device. It's fairly straightforward, but there are a couple of steps you'll need to follow. The first step is you're going to need to get your photos onto your laptop, uh, PC, Mac, whatever it is, either via an SD card or through photos.google.com and download them to a folder. There's various ways you can do this. I recommend uh, looking up some other videos how to do it. But assuming you have your photos in a folder, this is the, uh, the process you follow. Now I've downloaded mine into a zip file from Google, Google Photos. And I'm just going to extract those into a folder called Flowers. Here's the folder that has the photos that I'm going to be wanting to display on the portal by Facebook. You need to add them to an album on Facebook to do this. Uh, the album can be private, but once you get your photos onto Facebook, they will automatically display on portal. Okay, my photos are here. The next step is to go to facebook.com. Here I am on the main Facebook page for your account or for the account you're going to be uploading photos for. And what you want to do is up here in the top area, click on your profile. Once you click on profile, the profile page will be displayed. And down in the middle, after your profile cover photo, there's an area, a button called photos. Click photos. You're now on the photos page. This will show photos that you've uploaded um, that are public and private, but what we're gonna actually wanna do is create a private album. And from there, they will be displayed on the portal. So find the button that says create album. Click that. That's gonna open another window where you navigate to where you put your photos. Uh, in this case, it was in the pictures folder, flowers. These are all the photos I want to upload to this Facebook album. I, I'm going to do them all, so I'm just going to do Control A. If you're on Mac, it would be Command A. Select them all, or you could just select the ones you want, one by one, or just a few. Do open. Now it's going to take a moment to upload those. As you can see, it is in the process right now of uploading those photos to Facebook. And um, it's going to automatically create this album. It's going to try to tag them. I'm just going to go ahead and remove these tags. I don't need these. It will try to tag people in them also. There's a lot of analysis on it. All right, it's pretty much done with those photos. I can scroll through them and see them. You can add captions here if you want, any other information. Um, give your album a name. So this one is called Flowers. Yeah, you can add a location if you want. In this case, these are from various locations, so I'm just going to leave it empty. And I'm going to resize this window just so you can see this. Um, in the lower right, See this area down here? There's a post button and then there's a drop down. Now, right now, if I click post, it's going to post all these photos to my feed and all my friends can see it. If you don't want that, if you want to keep it private, uh, click the only me button draw, uh, selection. So now it has a lock on it, it says only me. That means this album is private only to me. 
yet they will still show up on the portal Facebook device. So click post. Although you're really not posting anything, you're, you're kind of posting it to yourself privately. And now we're done with that step. The next step is let's go over to the Facebook portal device and look at these pictures as they show up on the device and uh, configure it so it knows where to find them. Okay, here we are back at our portal. And what we're going to do is add the photo album that we added into Facebook so it shows up on our display here. We'll wake it up. And it's pretty straightforward to do. You just go to your settings. So if you're home, no matter what screen you're on, just you may have to swipe left or right to see it, but go to settings. And then on the left side, you have a few options. Choose super frame. Here you can set some of the characteristics of the screen, like uh, the transition speed, how often it goes to the different pictures. And um, we'll do 15 seconds. And where are the pictures are actually coming from? So we want to choose photos. Manage which photos display in the super frame. Press that. And this is where it's getting your Facebook photos. And um, it will automatically, you can turn these on if you want. Photos of you, I'm just going to leave those default. But this is where it's going to show you the albums that you have in Facebook. And here's the one that we just up uploaded and created called Flowers. You do have to toggle this so it's on. So if it's off, it's not going to show the pictures from there. If it's on, it will show them. And you have to do this each time you add a new album. So you may want to just have one album. So it always gets the new pictures. The pictures will automatically show here if they're in the same album. But if you create a new album, you will have to go into the settings and then make sure you hit this toggle to enable it. And we'll go ahead and do these also. So now the flower pictures that we just put into Facebook will show on the portal super frame. And if we go back home and we click here on the little frame icon on the top, it should start displaying them. And the setting I changed had it do it uh, cycle through every 15 seconds. So within 15 seconds, it should go on to the next picture. There's the cover photo. And now we're starting to see some of the pictures that we added to the album. And it's going to just cycle through those. Again, once you click on the screen or tap on it, it will uh, take that away. You can make your video call um, if you want to change any of the settings, you go to settings and here super frame and now you can change the transition speed or enable any of your other albums and that's about it. That's all you have to do in order to display your personal photos on the portal. Keep them private and as long as you add them into Facebook they're going to show up here on the screen. Hope you enjoyed. Have a great day.